and we really want to cross that barrier before the weekend is over. So that's really exciting. So that's been happening. She's like, yeah, it's true, Kamaya. That's the, the total and honest truth. Tanya is, well, that's with all crafting though, right? Because um, Tanya also completed a, a, an S dragon from Serenadia in like a weekend. It's wild. Stimulant bam bam. Hi, honey. Thank you so much. How are you? Yeah, so much good is going to come from that fundraiser. Like, I know we're just a, a bunch of little crafters, but like, freaking rock on. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tanya finished the uh, S Dragon, like a beaded S Dragon in 48 hours, and she had never done it before. That's freaking wild. But today, we're going to be doing two different things. Um, what, We'll start a poll here in a second to see what we should start with. But... This is our baby blanket, uh, the baby blanket we've been working on. She's coming out all gorgeous. She's all stunning. We love her. Dr. Gamester, it's been a minute. How are you? How have you been? It's been a hot minute since I've gotten to see you. Yeah, it's Tanya's ADHD superpower is like speed crafting it's excellent gonna see Hamilton oh my god obsessed you have to tell me how it is like of course we've all seen it you know on Disney plus at this point but like you gotta tell me how it is live so we have this and we have our floss wrapped hoop that we're basically doing for like a five to ten second TikTok. what pattern are you using um for this one? So for that pattern, I've got a link to it right here. There's, whoa. Nighttime. Daytime. Ah, Satine. Nighttime. Daytime. Thank you so much for 21 months. I appreciate you so much. <gasps> How are you? My diamond painting URL is still on. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Nighttime, daytime. You're taking it day by day. I'm glad you're taking it day by day. I'm glad you're here. Satine, hi, baby doll. How are you? First show of the Broadway season in Nashville. Oh, that's amazing. But Kamaya, the, the link is right there for you. Um, in case you want to go and grab that. Um, she's got a free version up somewhere. Hold on. I know she's got a free version. Turn that off from I believe pretty sure that's what it is. You added to your favorites? Excellent. Okay, no, the one I've got on my iPad's a little bit different, but yeah, it's by the loophole fox and she does, I know she's got a free version. Somewhere, but there are multiple other free versions out there. And instead of doing like what she's doing with like the color changes, what we've been doing, we have like a variegated, it's a cupcake yarn. So we're almost done with this skein of the cupcake yarn. And then we'll get that back into the next cupcake. So. Here's what that cupcake looks like. Just so you all can get some reference. This was a clearance yarn from ages ago, but it's by Lion Brand. And I'm pretty sure you could use any of the other cupcakes or mandala yarns, anything of that variety to make this super cute. I just didn't want to have to do all the color changes <laughs> and I wanted to use my stash. Where's my books? There's my books, okay. They need to make a gothic multicolor 
Kamaya, I agree with you. Okay. There's a poll going in chat right now. What's first today? Are we going to crochet some more of our blanket? Or are we going to do a little bit more on this floss wrapping for the hoop? This takes some time, but so does this. So I want to give everybody the choice. What do we want to work on first today? Let me know by voting. Since we have both activities to complete and they're both already sitting here on my desk. But in the meantime, I do want to show you the one crafty haul I got in this week. And while we're also showing things off, tell me something good that you did this week, whether it's complete a project or start something new. Tell me something good that you did this week. Mr. Frozen Mirage had me order fabric. This is gonna be dangerous. Frozen had me order two fat quarters. Speaking of gothic though, like Kamaya, right here for you. It's like a, an ice goth almost sort of a situation. So he had me order two different fabrics. I gotta run these through the wash tonight though. Probably wash just, yeah, I gotta just wash these babies. Ice goth, right? Kind of, it's like a frozen, he, he, so he wants these for a very specific project. We went through two spray parks this weekend during the heat wave. That's a total moment. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Amanda! Double baby rainbow. How are you? Thank you so much for that resub, babes. How are you? Tesky, you bought fabric yesterday? Tell me more. Angela, you finished two cross-stitch pieces. I want to see pictures. If you're not part of the Discord, you can either join the Discord using exclamation point Discord or send me picture links. I would love to see both. Irish, hello, how are you? Fever finally broke, thank God. I've been worried about you, Amanda. I'm Amanda. Gatorade and hot and sour soup. I'm, I'm telling you, it's like a miracle worker. Four and a half yards? Oh my god, that's excellent. I was worried. <laughs> Kamaya, these are from Spoonflower. We were we were looking for a very Night specific time. fabric. <gasps> Daytime! Nighttime! Daytime! Vintage! Thank you, baby! 15 months. I'm gonna meow the f out of you. Amanda, thank you for 100 bits. I appreciate you. <laughs> I can see him breathing. That's that's a, a moment. Amanda, if you ever want to know the secret to that, do your resub notice and then do your bits as anonymous. Not that I'm trying to encourage it. But that's the way to get around it. Because then it counts as two different people. And that's Needle and Floss. Oh, so much. That's so much at once, Needle and Floss. Hello. Oh my god, and Shay. Exclamation point. Welcome to Welcome Our Raiders. So much at once. Hello, Needle and Floss, you beautiful human. How are you? Can I get a shout out for the Needle and Floss, please? Oh, you're already on that. On that. Thank you, Tanya. Love you. <laughs> Zero-ish. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you, y'all. I bet you Needle. I, I bet you Jessica's sitting in ads right now. But like, what did Jessica work on today? What's going on? Oh my god. I totally did. I, you just went on like two hours, like not even an hour ago. I was, I'm totally surprised by you. 
I was gonna try to plan it out so I could raid you tonight. No, you do a great job at modding, Tanya. She was the way. I know, right? <laughs> but Raiders, welcome on in. My name is Liz. I'm Sleeping Lunar Designs, and I am a squirrel. I got some links in chat for you, a little bit of info about me, but basically, I'm a I'm polycraftual. I do a lot of stuff. My love, my first love in life is cross stitch, but now I'm diamond painting. I crochet. I sew. Um, yeah, it's gonna be excellent. I never stream for that long. Damn it, Needle. <laughs> Jessica, I was gonna try to raid you. I'm so upset now. <laughs> what were you working on, babe? Tanya is extra mod-like, and she got to, she got it all out of the rage room. It's totally true. So, so true. So true. Dude, Tanya in the rage room was a terrifying, terrifying being. It's my project temperature tracker finish my shop model nice and more disney castle that's gonna be amazing the back stitching you've got to be close to being done right it's canvas so new pouches for service dog oh that's gonna be amazing tisket so what i was actually gonna show this for on screen frozen made me order these two fabrics and so he comes to me and he's like, listen, I like, he, cause he goes in games, right? He goes and plays a TCG trading card game called flesh and blood. And he's like, listen, we're starting to need to carry our own dice. I'm like, okay. He's like, so I need a dice bag. So I was looking around for a really cool dice bag pattern and I found a freebie. No, go take care of dinner, babes. No, go. Don't even be ashamed of it. Run away. Enjoy dinner. Let me know what you have. I love you. Thank you so much for coming in. If you don't follow Needle and Floss, she's actually a really good friend of mine. I really adore her. Please go send her follow. Yeah, thank you. These are from Spoonflower. He did a good job picking these out. So what we're gonna do with them, there's a link to the pattern and it's a dice bag. So basically, it's a modified version of their jewelry bag and what they they actually have a dice tray built in this is the reason why i picked this bag it's got the dice tray built in oh we missed the train i'm so sorry well dang it thank you all though for all your kindness and love i appreciate you Thank you so much. Absolutely love that bat fabric. Thank you. Zero-ish. I know. Frozen did a real... My husband did a great job picking it out. He's... He's got an eye for this sort of stuff, though. But this is... This having this in there is going to be so helpful. Got my pattern pieces already cut out. Ready to go. My pattern pieces are already here. Ready to go. So... I think this weekend I might try to cut them and see if I can get some kind of basics going. I've got all the materials I need. So we're going to try to help it out or help hope that we can get it started. Like help out Frozen a little bit. So yeah, that's really all that's new over here. 
I did not see the results of the poll. Crap baskets. Okay. I need to go into my dashboard. <laughs> I need to go into my dashboard and figure out what the poll results were. <gasps> Hold on. Oh my God. Hold on. Is that what I think it is? Pretty sure it was crochet. We'll start with crochet first. Absolutely then. But it's my fly day. <laughs> Listen, nothing else is gonna matter at the moment until I can get this box open. So we're gonna get this. <laughs> That's what he said. That is what he said. Thank you, Frozen. I appreciate you. Good. Jackass. Hey Frozen, I'm live on the internet. You can't keep doing that. Really? I'm live on the internet. So it doesn't help that I ordered two more lounge fly bags or two more lounge fly bags this morning. They won't be here until October, but like I still ordered two more bags today. Is he trying to streak again? Absolutely, freaking lootly he is. Yeah, he actually is trying to streak right now. Yeah, he's trying to streak. But anyway. Do we need the Frozen Shimmers clip? Because I have it handy. Shay, you know where else that Frozen Shimmers clip now exists? It now exists on YouTube. I just want to put that out there. The Frozen Shimmers clip exists on in a Twitch compilation on YouTube. Azzy, hello, how are you? Everybody should go watch that. It's hilarious. Yeah, Frozen wants you all to go and watch the uh, my YouTube channel. Which, if you do exclamation point social... It's linked in the bottom in there. But he wants you to go watch that Twitch clip compilation. He let you YouTube that? Frozen, you've grown. <laughs> oh. My. God. Duh. We got two new things from Loungefly today. One is the wallet to go with the... Alani bag. Right, what are the other ones? Oh, yeah, okay. The really cool one. Yeah. I'll show you when you get done. So, one of the bags I got in Hawaii was this bag, right? This is a Moana themed bag. It was exclusive to the hotel out in Hawaii. Now, what they ended up doing today, or like this, they started doing this like glitter princess line, like a sparkle princess line, and they made a wallet that actually kind of matches like it's got the same floral detailing just not embroidered what did you get i know right robin <laughs> care bear care bear care bear no i know i don't have any of the care bear bags no but today i got the two game of thrones bags we'll talk about those oh my gosh angela thank you we'll take a look at those in a minute too nuke die hi baby how are you it's like the reverse color scheme. It's true, but they do go together. So I am really stoked I got the wallet. Like, that's what mattered to me, was to get the matching set. Blue-eyed cat, hello, how are you, my friend? How's it going? And by that, I mean I did. <laughs> Azzy, I love you. Looking for a crochet hook so I can try to learn via YouTube, but I was unpacking things. And found crochet hooks and knitting needles. Oh my. That's going to be amazing to see that stash edition though, Barton. K. Barton. I love it. What happens if a dragon eats too much Mexican or Indian food? You don't know? I'm just going to say, look for flames out of both ends. Ayo! <laughs> you like the matching flower detail? I do too. And I like the bow. Oddly enough, the bow ties it in for the front pocket. So, I don't know. I think it's cute. But, the real score of the day is this bad boy. The wallet will, the wallet I picked out will be here next week. Hopefully. Or at least it'll ship next week. <gasps> oh, it's glittery 
too. I didn't know it was glittery when I ordered it. Oh, I'm in love even more. <gasps> this habit's getting too expensive. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. New nail pick. Oh, new dye. Excellent. You stop this right now. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh my God. And there's double zipper detail. <gasps> no. What? Okay, hold the phone. I don't need to collect anything else. Giant red heart on the tummy, right? Exactly. The whole, oh. Except they put this on you. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it goes. So these aren't metal details on the bag. Or on the zippers, rather. But oddly enough, that's okay for me. There we go. So the paintbrush and the paint bucket. They heard your Jurassic Park complaint and stepped it up. I know. I know. I... <sighs> what? I'm obsessed. I love it. I did not know the front was glittery. Like, you can kind of tell in the right lights. Like, you can kind of see it. Ugh. She is going to make a beautiful addition to the collection. I'm so... Oh! The feet are there, too! Oh, they didn't show this in the picture. The feet are there, too! My new project is giving me Halloween vibes, even though it's a Halloween theme, but it's black and purple on orange fabric. Ooh, Azzy, tell me more. Ugh, it's so pretty, but listen, you all have to see what release came out today. And the problem that it caused. Did it sell out? Because if it sold out, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, put emotes in chat if you're a Game of Thrones fan. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, put some kind of emotes in chat. Yes! Yes, I know, right? Okay, so here's the problem. This shop called 835, uh, 835 finally got their pre-order or their uh, their approvals in from Loungefly. Because I have a really interesting, like, I got to learn a little bit about the business of, like, how Loungefly bags work today. Just a snippet, but it was really fascinating. Robin, you need to look. I am not a fan of House Baratheon, but I had to get this goddamn bag so quick. Look at how pretty. This is crushed velvet. It's like a, vel or not crushed velvet. It's like a velvet bag with all that detail. <gasps> it's so pretty. You found a pattern you already had? Nice, Azzy. That's excellent. That's the inside lining is all the house Lannister lions. But, uh, <laughs> but that's not all they put out today, okay? So from season two of Game of Thrones, this is based on Danny's out that blue and gold dress. This is based on the blue and gold dress from Karth that she was wearing. And we're just re-watching Game of Thrones and we're about to hit this episode 
A Lannister pays their debts. Lounge Vlog doesn't count as legal tender. <laughs> mood. Mood for mood. But here's the problem. This bag is gorgeous. Do not get me wrong. And also that dragon egg zipper detail. Mwah, chef's kiss. Love it. Um, but like <laughs> the inside lining also stun. We love. But the, the other major, major issue here, there's a wallet. So naturally, I had to get the wallet to go <laughs> with a cart bag. <laughs> so I, stop it right now. I know, I know, it's so pretty. But like, <laughs> Stella, enjoy your lurk. <laughs> it's really freaking cute. It really is, Blue Eyed Cat. Like, <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nuked, I thank, thank the gods, old and new, for paying for. All right? Like, <laughs> like, thank the gods, old and new, for paying for. Like, that's the only way that this happened. <laughs> so, after that, right, I messaged the store that these are, like, exclusive to. So you've got your DM. Okay, Irish, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but hold on. I gotta finish off the rest of this bit first so I don't like jump 10 million ways at once. Okay, so after the, I noticed that there was the, da the Daenerys wallet, I messaged them and I'm like, hey, listen, where's the wallet for Joffrey's bag? We need the wallet. We are all in, like, we all want the wallet. And they're like, but they're like, well, sadly, we're not going to get a wallet for the Baratheon bag, for the Joffrey Baratheon bag. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, there's only going to be two other bags in this series that have wallets. I'm like, well, shit. Okay. And then he says, hey, the, re the way that this works is independent retailers like us or anybody who's an official lounge fly a fit, like retailer can request their own exclusive bag. So that means 835, the store, put in the exclusive, like the actual request to have a series of bags done that were exclusive to them that were all Game of Thrones themed. And then Loungefly picked that up and made the bags and they worked together to make that happen. So... He then says to me, well, the problem with this, though, is that we put in the request for these bags 18 months ago. So a year and a half ago, they started this process. And they're like, Loungefly listens to us and what we want. But we only thought that three wallets were going to sell. I'm like, no, 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 no. Please do pairings. We need pairings. Order less of your wallet. That's fine. But we need the sets. People, a lot of people collect in complete sets. And he's like, if I put in a wallet request for the rest of the Game of Thrones stuff right now for wallets, you wouldn't see them realistically until the end of 2023, if not maybe the first couple of months of 2024. So I just, I didn't realize it took that much time and also how much control the small businesses themselves have with the exclusive bags. It was just a really fascinating tidbit. True. Really? I'm live on the internet and could easily turn my camera to see to show you off and yet here you are. Why would you do that? That's like you breaking skill. I know, but like stop make it stop. <laughs> just just stop. No. I had to air it off. You know what? Here. Chicken thigh, look, look, frozen mirage. I almost full named you. It's glitter. Like it's a metallic. And the zipper details. It's really pretty. This is one of the better ones I have in my collection. I didn't say the best because I know you think the best is the avatar bag. 
Wait, for now, until the Game of Thrones bags come in. There's gonna be like seven more of those bags, but only two of them will have wallets. There will end up being a bag that I like more than others. I already know it, but why? Bags why? Which bag? There is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bag that I haven't. I didn't order it. Yeah, I think it is the pop figure one. Show him. Uh, show off, Mr. Liz. <laughs> Because you're living in a thirst trap frozen, that's why, that's fair. Is he naked again? Yes, he is. He he is. He's getting dressed though. You need to chase him with a fly for a fly swatter or with a fly swatter. You know, that's actually a mood. I like that idea. Frozen Mirage Designs. No, we We picked, I think, Frozen Luna. Or um Lu Sleeping Luna Mirage. One of the two. If he doesn't have a suntan on his <laughs> I think you guys did your honeymoon in Hawaii all wrong. Emily! Emily, we were at a family resort. The audacity. What? What Put your shirt on and then come in here and read this. <laughs> I'm not saying it out loud. No. What is that? Right there. Well, first and foremost, I'm not loud about weenie roasting. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not under that sunlight because you saw what it did to Liz's back. Like, dear God. Oh my God. I still have lines. That, that mark right there, that like slight gap right there in like skin tone, that's from, that's the sunburn from Nana's bracelet. Yeah. She still has the tan on her back from her wedding dress. Like, Look at right here. That, that line right there. That's from my wedding dress. Yeah. I'm Two not... months later. I'm not, I'm not about to... to well, no, May, June, July. No, three months later. Yeah. Three months later as of today. Happy three-month anniversary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not about to sunbathe naked under that sunlight. That's intense. You need to make... You need a bag made to represent you. That's terrifying. That's true. I love that idea, but that's a terrifying thought process. You tried to provide good shade? <laughs> you did a great job, Emily. Emily. I love you. But the Ooh, other... It's 5.30. I gotta get ready. Okay, bye. Bye. Back and fooded, ate jalapeno, cheddar sausage, rice, and beans. Oh, that sounds good. But the other hot tea that Irish you kind of toyed at. I applied for the Loungefly Ambassador Program. I'm not going to get it, but I applied. Need slippers of water, BK. Hello, hello. Thank you. I'll see you in a minute. Not under the sunlight, uh, that sunlight. So Frozen's into moon bathing. What is this? Ambassador Navi, I applied basically for Loungefly's affiliate program. I, 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 I applied for Loungefly's affiliate program. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. I'm nowhere near big enough to, to do that, but yeah, I applied. Shay, enjoy your lurk. Love you. And you won't get it. Why? Um, pro, uh, size of influencer. I'm nowhere near large enough to qualify, probably. Um, the other, like, some of the other major accounts that actually, uh, do stuff like this. It's, um, like, they're in the couple hundred thousand range. You know what I mean? It's worth a try. Right, exactly. So I did apply for it. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, the wall is full. The wall is, if I include my current working bag, my wall, like all the hangers that I have up right now are full. So I need to put up more hangers. <laughs> try if you don't get it, try again. Exactly. Exactly. The dream three. <laughs> kind of, actually. Yeah, kind of. But speak, but like the DMC one, we are doing like an actual like sponsored stream from them coming up. They're supposed to be sending me stuff so that I can show all of you. And whenever that happens, we're going to have an actual sponsored stream by DMC. So like 
I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. This whole influencer thing is a different world entirely. Yeah, Navi, it totally is. And a lot of programs like that for like bigger companies, they judge based on account size. Um, so when you go to apply for those type of things, what they end up doing, they, they have you log in, fill out all your details. And it's kind of like a mini job interview form, like a mini job application. So you have to tell why you're why you would be a good fit for the program. How do you plan on promoting? How do you do X, Y, and Z? Like what types of content do you make? And then at the very end, they'll have you link all of your current social media program, like platforms. So they'll have you like log in with your TikTok, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, and the one, and this one actually included Twitch. So we got to include our Twitch numbers in here this time around, but it's, it's a lot of extra effort. And considering with all that extra effort includes all sorts of different tax forms. So every single time you have to fill out a new 1099. And also that means for me now that my name is legally changed, once I get my new driver's license in, I have to apply with my 1099 on, I have to like update my 1099 on like 15 different sites, including my banks. It's great. <laughs> I hate it. And I have to do my banks first and I have to do two of my banks in person. Oh, it sucks. Sam, how are you? Crafting Sam, how are you babes? totally freaking out right now. Oh, a hundred percent Irish. A hundred percent. You're crocheting and not stitching. I know. Isn't it weird? If you want to see what I'm working on, it's exclamation point pattern. BK, welcome back. Hello, how are you, honey? <gasps> oh, so the boy party. Oh, you found out. Oh my God, Sam, how excited are you? How excited are you though? Overstimulated by Amber today and can't find my slippers. BK, I want to give you hugs, babe. How can I give you hugs? How can I help? Actually, probably. I'll post it. Okay, perfect. You can get it. I, I know you can. You've got this, Navi. 
I wanted a girl, but excited for baby to be here anyway. But hey, listen, as long as baby is healthy, at the end of the day, that's what matters. So, yay healthy baby! <laughs> Speaking of babies, not me, I promise. Um, I'll be okay in a bit since Emperor is now sleeping. Okay, perfect. That That's very fair. BK, yeah. Speaking of babies, though, my friend's baby shower is tomorrow. And that's why we're working on this blanket, right? So this is what I ended up doing. I got them this bag. This was like a $25 diaper bag on Amazon. And then I just filled every i filled the dividers with everything so these are the burp cloths that we like that we made we i sewed those we cut a couple of those on stream um found onesies on freaking clearance at the craft store what up so got her a couple of five packs of onesies i made some car blankets so these ones would be perfect for like the car seat they're small they're like 25 by 25 and I know car seat ones are usually like 36 by 36 but I was like you know what get some smaller ones she'll probably appreciate the small ones or she can lay a couple of them out while the baby's playing on the floor whatever the case is $25 yeah but like for a diaper for like a diaper caddy Irish for baby stuff that's cheap So we put that set together. I was hoping to get this one done in time too. If we can get it done in time, it'll go in the bag. If not, I'll just have to bring it over to her. But yeah, no, they, um, as soon as something says baby or wedding or anything else, the price skyrockets. So considering what that is. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Babysitting baby niece on Sunday so sis and hubby can have their first date night in a month. Oh, that's so exciting, Sam. Some days it just gets rough because, yeah. <laughs> Constantly going great. Yeah, to, going to deal with it. And then, like, today it's like 20 cups of coffee and you're just like, ah, yeah. Sometimes kids are just so much. Axel Randall is what we're naming him. Oh, that's cute, Sam. Congratulations. That's adorable. That's so cute. Okay, every time I hear Axel, no lie, I think of, uh... <laughs> I'm horrible. Every time I hear the name Axel, I think of two things. One... Kingdom Hearts. And two, an ex-boyfriend's bearded dragon that was named Axel because of the character from Kingdom Hearts. So, I always hear that and I go, oh, I miss that bearded dragon. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts every time, right? Exactly. Guns and Roses? No, not even Guns and Roses. Definitely Kingdom Hearts, 100%. I miss my kid, he's 14, but he's still your baby. Oh, always, always. That's always how it works. People ask me, don't you want more? And you're like, I've got five kids in one. No, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got five kids in one plus your husband. All right? Like, listen, men, we love you. Like, men, we, we love you, but... seven at least exactly finna joy hello how are you how's it going today you want four more that's a lot i you are a braver soul than i am i could i could never have kids i i could never do it myself that's you are a very brave soul hey frozen you're gonna have to adjust the seat when you go in there. Okay, cool. Will you check the mail on your way home? Okay, pretty please, because I have this stuff. Um, I don't want to leave that tattoo cream downstairs. 
in the mailbox. I want to keep it up here in better temperatures. Okay, I love you. Okay, have fun gaming tonight. Bye, Frozen. Everybody say bye to Frozen. Your sister has nine. That's so many kids. I shot crochet stream and I couldn't resist. Oh, Finna, that's amazing. Well, welcome on in. I'm assuming you crochet as well. What kind of crochet is your favorite? That pause. <laughs> shit, shit. Your mama's little kids. Oh my God. No, come on. That's too many kids. That's, that's so many kids. Uh-uh. No, that's too much. The, for all of you who who have kids, you're braver souls than I am. You are much more patient than I am. I would not I would not be able to handle it. Like, I know myself very well. That life ain't for me. And for all of you who have kids, I'm proud of you. Because I could never do it. Frozen's off to play trading cards tonight. Thanks, everybody, for saying bye to him. Boy! Boy! <laughs> It's not like I don't love kids. I love kids. I just can't overdo it. Yeah, CBK. And that's the other thing is like once you, it almost feels like a can of Pringles. Once you pop, you just can't stop. And I'm a little afraid of that notion too. <laughs> oh Jesus. Did I really just compare having children to a can of Pringles? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm on Team No Kids, yeah. Saren, hi, how are you? Ferret, no, it's um, it's just Saren. Exclamation point, Saren. I'm good, I'm good, how are you feeling? You had a lot yesterday with your doctor's appointment. How's everything going? Or it was the other day, wow. I, I can't keep track of time and space. Um. It's enough work to take care of myself and my two fur babies, much less a human. Like, okay, but that's the other methodology here. I'm just like, listen. I can barely handle my cat Apollo in the morning when he's on top, like, standing on top of me screaming and trying to bite me. I can barely handle my cat. What makes you think I can handle anything else? I can barely handle my own damn self. <laughs> so, but yeah, but I just... My friend's having a baby. That's what this blanket's for. And I'm really excited for her because I know she and her husband wanted to have kids. They just definitely didn't expect it to be this soon after their marriage because they got married in October. And they, nobody expected it to happen this quick. So we're just like, well, here we are. <laughs> Things went good. What is time even, right? That's actually a mood. I feel that. You wanted three to four kids originally. Then I got pregnant and found out it was twins. And you're like, I still want more. Now they're three and we're done. <laughs> That's a mood. I feel that deep down. That's going to be a gorgeous baby blanket. I might break out a honeycomb blanket after I eat and while I watch. Oh my God. You have to send a link to the pattern or pictures or something. I love that idea. This one's really nice. So... I know underneath my face, there's a picture of like the pattern, but I didn't want to have to do the color changes. So I opted for cupcake yarn. This is where it's at. Like this exact pattern with the G plus hook. So it's a four and a half millimeter. So this pattern with a G uh, with a four and a half millimeter and the cupcake yarn, like this is where it's at right now. And like those transitions look stun. Mommy Wodo, hello, how are you, honey? So many hexagons, it's painful. I need to see that though. I've always wanted to do a honeycomb blanket. I. Nighttime. Honey! Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Nominee, how is it 19 months? A long time to legally stalk someone. <laughs> What is life anymore? <laughs> Legally 
she's stalking someone. That's an amazing way of putting it. I love you. Thank you so I'm much. Sure we'll play her down. Figure it shows the way. <laughs> Finna Joy, thank you for that follow, babes. I appreciate you. I'm okay. Hope you're well. Cool that our birthdays are a day apart. Isn't that right? Birthday twins almost. I love it. How was your birthday, Mommy Wudu? Going to make it in black and blue. Kamaya, that's going to be gorge. I love that. With Ember today, it got to the point where, yeah, that's super fair. Everybody, it's a pick stitch. Hi, babe. Pick stitch. Can I get a shout out for picks? Pix's second birthday for the channel and all of Pix Stitch in general is tomorrow. Pix Stitch. So, Pix is going to be hosting a 12 hour stream tomorrow. Different guests are coming on all through the day and night. So, make sure you go and send Pix Stitch some love and you go and craft and do everything. I'll be over there with Meg and 8 bit Emmy at 6 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. Pacific tomorrow to help celebrate. Not gonna lie, I'm winging it as I go. Oh my gosh. I still have to decide how I want to connect them. We'll snap a photo when you get all the hexagons. That's fair. Um, Finna, are they all the same color? Or are they all different colors? Because, like, depending, you could slip stitch it all together. Like, if they're all the same color and you'd use the same color, like, for the connecting yarn, like. Like, not the same color, but, like, if they're the same color, like, hexagons, you could use a slightly darker tone to do all that stitching together to make it look like a honeycomb. That would be really cool. Pix, how was your day off? Which I know you didn't spend it off. You were working all day. <laughs> Nominate got pillow talk? Like, that's gonna need a badge or something. I know, right? Listen, pillow, do pillow talk doesn't look so cute when you have a double chin, so I apologize. I truly apologize for that. I've been doing stream shit all day. Seriously. See, look at that. Pix is working too damn hard. Let me tell you. Listella, hello. Tech. Oh my god. Hi, babe. Listen, Detect Magic is one of my, like, my newest obsession streamers. Like, I love watching them stream. So if you don't follow them, you gotta. But hi. How are you? Gonna spend some more time with hubby. Love you, BK. Get some rest. You deserve it. Tell Ember to calm the hell down. Have a good night, baby. I got three shades of yellows. Oh, that's kind of chaotic. Yeah, you gotta keep it simple. La Stella, things are good. Things are really good. We're just working away. This is a baby blanket. If you use exclamation point pattern, you can see that pattern. Um, But no, it's going good. I mean... Just crafting my little heart out. Um, we got a lounge fly delivery live on stream. So it's been good. But how are you? Tech. Oh my god. Yes. How was your trip? <laughs> I know you were dreading the trip. So how did it go? You bought a car? Congratulations. Hell. Sushi or tacos? Sushi. Sushi. And then send me some. Kay thinks I love you. It was awful. Torture God 2022. <laughs> no. Remember the hook I broke? Replacement came in today. Hell yeah. We love. We love crafty mail day. Especially when it's like a useful tool. Hot phrasing. But like especially when it's something super useful. Ka-chow. 
And there is another row completed, my loves. Completed another row. Excellent. I have yet to break a hook. Sounds terrifying, right, though? And the Lego set. <laughs> I love the duck girl. Thank you. <laughs> I think duck roll, like sushi roll. I think the duck has spoken and said that it's sushi tonight. Yeah, Pix, what hook? What hook did you break? Was it one of your clovers? You're going to hang offline for a bit. Needle and floss, I love you. Let's talk soon, okay? Have a good night. And thank you for the raid. Sacred squirrel, Puffles. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Don't be so rough. Oh, <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Squirrel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they have a duck roll on the menu. Barbecue duck, cabbage, and kimchi. I'll get two. Nominee, I love you. Broke a Susan Bates. Okay, but I've broken a Susan Bates before. I I've broken a Susan Bates hook once in my life. I got you. You broke an acrylic hook last year as well. That's, I've never broken the acrylics, but that's impressive. Hope your birthday was good. Mine was mad. Taking care of hubby after surgery. Oh no. Oh no. That's awful, mommy voodoo. I hope you feel better. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I think Sam's the only one who caught that. Thank you so much for that hydrate. I appreciate you. Me, but I don't own any. <laughs> That started pillow talk. Listen, we need to, we need to do like, I need to put that as a redeem, but okay. We just finished another row and <laughs> I just want to chill and watch Twitch and play games for like three days. Well, detect my love tomorrow. You're in luck because I will be over on Pix's channel celebrating his birthday tomorrow. Celebrating the channel birthday, the, the business birthday, as it will. And Pix is streaming for 12 hours. So you have all day with Pix tomorrow. It's gonna be perfect. Puffles, I am so sore still. So, Mommy Wooter, to bring up, like, birthday again. For my birthday, I went with Tanya to a rage room. And it was incredible. It was the most amazing thing. So my birthday was on Wednesday and we went to a rage room and basically it's like an hour where you just get to break stuff. They give you two giant Home Depot buckets worth of stuff and you just get to go in there. There's one steel wall and they're like, listen, the only rule is have fun and don't break the table, but have fun. So we literally got to go in there and just destroy buckets upon buckets upon buckets of stuff for a full hour. And I really kind of fell in love with uh, this one metal baseball bat that they had. So like that was a problem. But... <laughs> But it was so much fun. I am so sore. I am in so much pain. But it was so amazing. I'm gonna need a rage room, a rage room after this week. Totally, you absolutely should. I was gonna crochet on my obnoxious granny square blanket, but I can't find your hook. Oh no, vintage. Oh no, honey. Where could it be? We need to, we need to go on the hunt for vintage SoGal's uh, crochet hooks. Was it a problem or a solution? The soreness is the problem, but the rage room itself was a solution and it was iconic. But I will have to tell you, putting Tanya in a rage room and giving her a baseball bat and a printer is the most terrifying thing I think you'll ever see. Because <laughs> it was, yeah, the, the baseball bat and the printer was like the most terrifying thing you'll ever see. Order 
$140 worth of yarn and Tunisian crochet hooks. Save me from myself. No, I will not. Because, Kat, I have never done Tunisian crochet, and I want to watch somebody do it. So if you ever stream your Tunisian crochet, or if you ever do, if you ever want to hop in, like, Discord and do a stitching bitch, and you bring on your Tunisian crochet, I will sit there in awe of you the entire time. All I'm hearing is solutions. Exactly. Yeah, it was so much fun. Let me tell you. I know where my hooks are. I put them away. Note away is a magical place called Narnia. Like Larnia. <laughs> Excellent. I love this for you. A oh, lot. <laughs> I love, I love when Pix comes in here. He's like, oh, lot. It's my favorite thing in the world. They're in a safe place. <laughs> exactly. Listen, that's the same safe place that my 60 millimeter um, rotary cutter's at. That's gotta be the same place. It's very safe. Meaning, I don't know where the hell it is. <laughs> okay, now I need to double check my count. Okay, because that does match up. But what I need to count are all of these real quick. So. Okay, that is right. Okay, so our row number 25, I just need to double check... Okay, cool. We're good. One of these days I'll start streaming as soon as my brain decides to comprehend the programs. Cat, I think, oh, it's, it's really daunting to set up. But once you have it set up, it, it pretty much runs itself in a weird way. Like, it's pretty easy, but, like, setting it up is the daunting thing. I keep breaking your stitch markers. You should get some metal ones. If you find good metal ones, let me know where they are. Because as much as I like these plastic ones, I too would like some metal stitch markers. You're about 99% ready. That's super fair. Yeah. It's a little scary to set up, but once you get going on it, like once you have all the stuff set up and all your scenes and everything, it's... Just knowing where all the pieces are at that point. Liz recently learned to count to 31 while crying in existential dread. <laughs> it's true. And you know what? Learning how to count up to 31, it just, it made me want to leave. Okay? I just, I want to take it out of here. I can count to 31 and pay you $31 now. I just want out. Please. Help me, please. Pretty, pretty, please. That one person I, is, I need a mod in my anxiety. Get one of your friends to do it for you. Get a friend because, get a friend and not like an IRL friend. Get one of your online friends. Somebody who's been in other Twitch streams before. And vintage, depending on when it is, I don't think I could, I couldn't mod for you full time, but like depending on when it is, I can at least be there for a few streams until you find somebody that you think can take the reins. So just like, if you need, if you're like, I really want to get started on this and you need somebody, give me a call. I got you. 31's a solid number? I hope so. I hope so. Like, your girl needs to have a good year, alright? <laughs> 